going, everyone? Dern D back with another episode of Let's Learn Hearthstone's low-level play. As I mentioned in my first video, only been playing this game for about a week. This video series is kind of about me starting off low and hopefully working my way up the rankings a little bit. Uh, learning how to win, learning how to put together decks. So if you're looking for more of a narrative-driven video series as opposed to here's your strategies, here's your tactics. If you just want to see a guy trying to do his very best like no one ever was, well, this might be the series for you. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. So I do have a daily quest of trying to get two Shaman or Warlock victories. I just put together a custom Shaman deck so I'm going to try that out. We'll go into our play mode. And there is our custom Shaman deck. I'm only level 7 with Shaman like now, right now. The only character I've maxed out is uh, Rexar the Hunter. Seem to uh, have a fairly good affinity for him. So uh, let's see how this first match goes if we can find an opponent. If we can find an opponent. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Worthy opponent. And we're fighting Malfurion, Lonstar David. Hello to you, Lonstar David. Good luck to you. All right, so let's get this show on the road. Won't be able to do too, too much until a couple of turns in. So uh, hopefully things will work out for us and we won't lose too badly. He doesn't take too long with choosing his cards. I did play uh, one episode, not one episode, but one game off screen uh, in between my last video and this one uh, just to try out a different deck and stuff like that. And uh, had one fight, basically, and the guy went uh, AFK, and that was it. I just kind of attacked until his health fell all the way down. He didn't do anything. The timer went off. He only had like 30 seconds each to do his turns, and he didn't do anything. So I don't know what happened there. At least I didn't record it, because it wouldn't have been too exciting to watch. You shall okay, so he is starting off with the Shield Bearer. He's got a taunt, so we will have to try to get through him, unless I use my Hex card. Friendly character, plus three attack this turn. Uh, let's put out the Noyotron. He's got a Divine Shield, so he can take uh, whatever first attack he does, and that will just break the shield, and he'll just be like a 1-2 normal character then. Unless uh, he has some sort of silent skill or anything like this. Uh, if you're new to Hearthstone, I suggest watching maybe a few different series. I'm going to be talking about different skills and stuff like that. Like I said, this is... this. I might have called this series Let's Learn, but this is about me learning Hearthstone and not really about uh, teaching other people how to play it. Uh, you know, it's kind of like my journey and uh, how that goes for me. So uh, let's give this character that plus three attack. We'll use it to take out that shield bearer. And we will uh, summon his totem. Spell damage plus one. That might work out okay for us. So let's see what he does this turn. He can attack. I'm surprised he didn't attack when he summoned this creature because it does have charge. This means that uh, he can attack right away as soon as, uh, as soon as that character gets summoned. So he's going to break his divine shield. Well, he's got no choice but to attack the Anoyotron because, well, he's got the taunt. And of course, taunt, if you don't know, that means that you have to attack a character with taunt before attacking a uh, main character. So let's uh, kill this guy. And let's uh, give him the Rock Biter. Let's put out a totem. Searing totem. And we'll attack this guy for four. So it's going okay so far. He's got a lot of cards in his hand, which gives me pause. Uh, that means that as his mana builds up, he's going to have a lot more options than I do in terms of dishing out damage and whatnot. 
This guy has a taunt, seven health, so that's interesting to know. What to do? He is trying to figure out what to do. I will see if I can summon anything with the teleporter, and I have summoned a boot. No do to boot it. Play with the side things a little bit. Okay, he hasn't gone AFK, which is great because watching me just fighting someone AFK would be kind of dull. Uh, we're going to turn him into a frog. And we're going to attack him. We'll bring out a, yet another totem. This one kills our minions. And we'll all attack for measly one damage. So. Next we're up to going to be up to six. I'll probably probably summon the warden next hand, unless I pick up something interesting from my deck. This guy he's taking his time, he is thinking, which is a good thing to do. You don't have to rush. Get behind me. Just because it's an online game, don't feel rushed. I've never seen that screw before. Can I do anything with it. Damage and taunt. Okay. Let's put out this guy. And uh, he will tank some health. And uh, we're just going to attack with. I don't have anything invested with the totem, so I'm just going to attack with him. And uh, we summon yet another taunting creature, which is great. So uh, he still has a lot of cards in his hand. Like I said, that, uh, that gives me pause because that means he can dish out quite a lot in a turn. But if you got a couple multiples of two mana cards, I mean, that, that can do a lot, actually, to wreck someone's game. That's what I like about her, so it's all about momentum, so... And momentum can shift at any point too. You could be losing, and you can uh, you can pull a heart of the cards. If you've ever watched uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, and draw that one card that you need, and that is ever so satisfying. So that's got Wind Fury. That means it can attack twice in a turn. He's going to attack the Warden. He's going to attack the uh, Noitron. Okay, I am fine with this. One one for all minions, and I have two three. So this is going to give him pause. The frost wolves stand ready. Eight eight, and we'll just stick out another totem. And uh, yeah, he uh, he's probably going to have to evaluate what he's going to do next. I should have put out this totem before I summoned him because I would have had 9 9, but that is the rub. And, you know, a simple mistake like that can end up costing you the game. These games go pretty quick. Uh, the last video I did, it was two games and it was 18 minutes. So that was averaging nine minutes a game. So, you know, things can, can, things can shift pretty quickly. Okay, and he's got one of those guys too. So it's going to be a standoff. They got the Wind Fury. So yeah, their uh, Lone Star is uh, starting to gain momentum. So let's see what happens now when I draw my next card. Okay, it's someone with a Taunt. He's only got one health on his only Taunt monster. So let's just take him out. We must cleanse the sun well. And give him 9-9. Nine, nine. I know that I'll lose him next turn, but I just kind of want to even things out. And let's put out this Magi. So I'll lose a little bit, uh, I'd say, 
they'll attack with one of these Murlocs for this guy and then attack me twice. So I'll lose 8 health over the course of this turn. But I will have another Taunt Monster ready to go. Taunt Monster is actually uh, the name of my uh, Goth Rock. For Not really. Restore 2 health? Okay, that helps. A that hurts me a little bit. It helps him. That raid leader does some great stuff for him. And they are at a mana, so... I don't think they've attacked me. There we go. So, five, so that's ten health right there. Unless I can pick up, like, a hex or something like that. Okay. I think that should be it for his turn. Eventually, no. Nope. for no one. My turn. Behold the might of storm wind. All right. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to attack her with my totem. We're going to attack. In with my totem. We're gonna attack you. And that kind of evens out the battlefield a little bit. Of course, everyone gets healed a little bit, but uh, I should lose the Stone Claw totem. <laughs> we do have kind of mirror decks. Uh, seems like he's got a lot of the same cards I do. Okay, so this guy is now 8-8 eight, eight with Taunt. So they, that might upset the balance, so to speak. So I should be able to take out Healer, but no, he's got Taunt, so I can't do that. Like I said, low-level play is me trying to figure out what to do. Silence the minion. So that means you won't have taunt. Okay. Your magic shall not save you. And that brings down his health as well. Bring out the Lord of the Arena. Right. Let's even out the battlefield. Push forward. And this is, uh, I think this is going to be a close game, actually. You know, we're both at the 10 mana cap now, so it comes down to basically who can draw the right cards right now. So, just took 5 damage there, so, like I said, comes down to who can draw the right cards. You have the War Golem that I can put out next turn. I can't dish out that much damage. We and he does have more cards than well. so She is up to five and six. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put out Shield Bearer. You shall not pass. And I'm gonna put out the War Bomb. And I'm gonna summon another totem. <laughs> Or th two. Push forward. Gonna even out the battlefield a little bit. And we'll see what happens on the next turn. Behold the might of storm wind. Nice drop again, so that puts his other character up to oh, I thought put him up to seven seven. And he's going to start attacking me directly because he has that power. Oh, he's going to attack my totems. Okay. Attack on totem. Bum 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 bum. Give a minion win fury. That I say yes to. Kill you. Kill you. Nice, he's got taunt. Well played. 
god. And I got a well played from him. Thank you very much. I thank you. What a nice guy. So, he still got three cards in his hand. Like I said, that always gives me pause when the opponent has more cards. Because that means they can uh, turn things around pretty quickly. Five ones. He's got a pretty good attack, but... Can't do too much with it. Summon... Mess with summon a totem. That's the thing. Like, I now have mana, but I can't do anything with it. So let's use their Searing Totem. And let's attack... That's all I can do. See, all my guys now are fairly low level in the damage department, so... Uh, if he brings out a powerful creature with Taunt, I mean, he can turn this around pretty quickly. Attack me directly? No. It's going to attack the creature with Taunt. Take a Give mistake. your minions plus three attack this turn. Okay. Sure. Let's, uh, let's do that. And that's an example of the right card coming at the right time. And a well played to you. That was a uh, that was a close and interesting game. That could have gone anyway. Uh, if I hadn't have drawn that bloodlust right at the end, I could have easily lost. But uh, there you go. That's part of the nature of trading card games. You know, sometimes you draw the card you need, and sometimes you know, part of the cards and all that. Hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. If you did, uh, please click the like and subscribe button. And also, I have this series called Let's Learn. This is me trying to learn how to play Hearthstone. So your tips are welcome. I will see you next time.